PlayStation Update 2.0 will be coming soon, and Microsoft's monthly update is coming in November, and it's going to have some nice new features. There'll be a link in the description for you guys to uh, see about this information yourself. But Xbox One's new update will include, include custom backgrounds, uh, and that's something that obviously is the number one thing that people on Xbox have been hooting for, the, the uh, custom backgrounds. That seems really odd that that would be the number one thing that Xbox One owners would be asking for. Microsoft has announced numerous improvements, additions, and changes coming to the Xbox One via its monthly system update. The main attraction for November, drum roll, is the new personalization features which allow users to create a customized background. The corporation adds that this is the number one requested feature from fans. Hmm, I don't know if that's true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that that would be true on any platform. The number one thing we need is custom backgrounds. I think that, that was probably the easiest thing to do, but I don't think that that's the number one thing people who play Xbox One will want. This comes weeks after the Xbox head Phil Spencer pledged to add custom theme support to Xbox One systems. Though the new update is a stepping stone in that path, Microsoft said that more customization options would arrive later. It's pretty cool. Right? There's some pictures here of the customizable backgrounds, and if you're into that kind of stuff, that's going to be really good for you. Gamers who have been listening to the Xbox One preview program should be able to access this update now. So, if you guys are part of that promotion, go ahead and check it out. Comment below, let me know what it's like. Other additions to the November update uh, include the option to attach a funnel reel to your profile. Users can, can display six video snippets of their gaming feats, which others can watch while browsing profiles. And that's awesome. You know, if you click on someone's profile and they're playing their favorite game, you can see six of their favorite games in real quick snippet form. I think that's really awesome. Further to this, you know, what could be the coup for Microsoft as, as it competes with Sony for rel relevance in social media? The Xbox One can now publish game clips directly to Twitter. That is awesome. I'm sorry, uh, Bertha and Bella Butt are upstairs and they seem to roll around every time I do a video. In addition, Microsoft has applied a trending algorithm to its TV guide. Its TV guide? Mm -hmm. Who knows if that'll be any good. This system update will launch at some stage in November. A full breakdown of updates is published below, so check that link. Uh, some of the things you can expect in this update is the ability to show who you are. Some of the most requested features being released this month include the ability to customize your Xbox One background and showcase and share some of your favorite achievements in game clips. Custom backgrounds, as I said before, a gamer, your gamer profile will be updated. You can now share your location and bio as part of your profile, which is, uh, I don't know, maybe a lot of gamers want to do that. I think probably more don't. Tweet about your favorite game clips. You can now share your favorite Xbox One video clips with your followers on Twitter. Use a share button or any uh, um, on any game clip you've created and select Twitter to compose it to a tweet, which is pretty awesome. A new way to watch TV. I don't even want to read that. Live TV trending, yeah. Twitter TV trending, Xbox TV trending. This sounds like uh, E3 2013. Tweets and mini guide, recents and favorites and mini guide. Um, so, and there's also some improvements to smart glass updates, Xbox store improvements, friends, game activity on smart glass. So that's something you can do if you have smart glass. Games with gold and deals with gold on smart glass and smart glass store improvements. I'm not on the Xbox One right now. Uh, that's the only console I don't have, and it'll probably be something I get mm, probably in December. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think about this update. Is it worthwhile? I mean, I think it's only Microsoft are doing really well. Some of those features are really awesome to be able to uh, send your game footage directly to Twitter. I think that's cool. A lot of people will use that immediately. You guys let me know what you think about this. If you found this content engaging and helpful at all, please support the channel with a thumbs up. And if you're new to the Beast of Gamer channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm the BC Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.